Have you ever wondered why skin might look leathery as we age? That's because our bodies slowly stop producing its most important nutrient for skin health. Folks, that's collagen. That's why tens of thousands are turning to this amazing substance to replenish this diminishing but vital protein. It uses the top five critically important types of collagen to support skin elasticity, hydration, and to bring back that youthful grow. Most importantly, you can save 53% for this month only. Simply go healthwithla.com. That's healthwithla.com. Or folks, please check the link down below and check it out. Uh, I take the, the collagen uh, every single day. I put it in my coffee, no lumps. I can, I, it's non-flavored. I don't taste it. Every single day it's in my coffee. So there you have it. That's healthwithla.com, healthwithla.com. It was later before summer vacation started in Norway at the 7th of June uh, this year. And uh, uh, myself, and me and my wife were just going on some regular uh, grocery shopping at a nice, pretty nice grocery shop a couple of miles from our uh, hometown in southern Norway. And then uh, something really out of the no uh, ordinary happened to us. So let me ask you something. Your wife is with you? Yes. And did she have the encounter also, the confrontation? Oh, yes, she okay, did. So this is normal C101. This is like you're in a grocery store. You're not looking for anything. You're not expecting anything. You're at the vegetable stands. I mean, this is this is ordinary as you can get. But then something extraordinary happens. Tell us about that. Well, it was just us. No, no, it was no person behind us. Uh, no persons in the rear of the shop either. It was really uh, early in the morning. So, and then suddenly this tall, blonde woman, tall woman, uh, just eyeballs me. She just kept a stone hard face, just piercing me with her yellow eyes. And then I understand, whoa, is this hidden camera or something that because a person looking at you with such perfect hatred. Uh, that's kind of a normal look because, because I've never seen her before. She right. hasn't done me anything. And then she's just moving towards us. I would perhaps would describe it like slithering, like a snake. And my wife also, she really gets to get, really gets really nervous and scared at that moment because she was perhaps 15 feet away from us. She starts to doing strange movements. I, I couldn't really see her feet, but I, I have given you an uh, description and also a personal drawing of uh, this woman. That's now the brain fog starts making me dizzy and my wife dizzy and my wife wow. gets so scared. She's just crouching behind the vegetable stands just before this woman lifts up her skirts and flashes her genitals at us. My wife, as at this point, is very scared. So she starts laughing behind the vegetable stand. And she doesn't know why she's laughing. And then, poof, gone she was. I don't know where she went. It was like, poof, it was gone. This is an incredible story. What time of the morning was it? Nine o'clock in the morning. And a beautiful Norwegian, Norwegian summer day. No one else in the market. No one else in your aisle. All of a sudden, she appears. Yes. How tall is she? Approximately 6.1 six, uh, six, uh, foot. Uh, that's almost 187 uh, centimeters. So, so she's over six feet tall. Yes. It's, it's at least one inch taller than me. Now, what, was the hair shoulder, was it blonde, platinum blonde? Yes, it was platinum and blonde and above, above the, the breast height. Okay, so, so it was down go, around here. Yes. Okay. Uh, and what struck me was the kind of, or the quality of the clothing. It was like the finest linen I've ever seen. It was interwoven with gold threads and it was semi permeable. So you can see partly through her clothes. Was it, was, was she wearing a skirt or a dress? What was she wearing? Uh, yeah, she, she, wa she was wearing kind of a top going to the elbow. And then she was wearing a, a top below her bosom. And then it was some kind of permeable, semi-permeable clothes just above her knees. So 
it was kind of revealing, to put it mildly. Did she say anything? Did she verbalize anything at all? No. Okay. It was just this bright yellow eyes. Now, when so you that, when that you, was, let me stop you there. When you say yellow, yes. Were there any whites in the pupils, or was it all yellow? It was just large yellow eyes. Now, that were, the, were the eyes larger than a normal human being, or were they the same size and just yellow? A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Okay. Yes. Uh, and that, that wearing was, any makeup? No, I couldn't no see makeup. any makeup. Okay. It was flat skin, very uh, uh, prudent cheekbones. So no makeup, high cheekbones, larger than normal eyes that are yellow, striking yes. blonde hair. Yes. Uh, was she wearing any jewelry? No, I don't think, think so. But she did wear some strange boots. It looked like some kind of Star Trek boots. I couldn't really see her feet because that part, the lower part of her feet were blurry. I don't know why. It's very so, strange. Okay, so the feet are blurring. When yes. she comes at you, you said she began to slither like a snake. Now, I'm yes. assuming she's not on the ground. She's like walking to you, but she's undulating. Or how, how did, what did that look like? The best thing I can say is she was levitating perhaps some, a couple of inches above ground. And that's my wife's words exact, uh, exactly. Wow, she's, she's uh, slithering like a snake. That freaked her out. How close was she to you? At the closest, she was perhaps five, six feet. And then I just managed to turn my head before she did her thing with, it, with her skirt. And then I, the brain fog was kind of scary because you have to experience it to, to know. But as I've said, you, you have talked about this in your video, so I know what to do. You know, it's yeah. amazing. People don't understand, but when you're, when you're in close proximity with an entity like that, it, you know, it's like, these are not the droids you're looking for. Your brain's not working anymore. And you've no. experienced that, but you know, thank God you knew what to do. So when, when, you, when you said the name of Jesus and you know, the feet are blurry, she's levitating, she's coming at you. Tell us exactly how she leaves the scene. So you go, you know, in the name of Jesus, what does her face do when you're thinking that? Actually, I was kind of afraid to turn my head against her once more because I, I didn't know if, if, he's, if he still was naked, you know? So I was trying to aim high with my eyes and I, I looked her as she turned, now wildly angry. Because, you know, when you see a person is angry, they kind of, you can see uh, the their eyes start, expression. sure. Yes, the eyes start, mm, and she makes some uh, strange uh, movements in her in her face. I don't, I don't know how to describe them without the perfect hatred, the perfect anger. And then she turns wildly fast, so fast, like a U-turn, right. like taking them slithering away so fast. Now, when you when you say slither, what do you describe that? Because we well, you know a snake is on the ground and it's slithering. So she's not on the ground on her belly, but somehow you're you're looking at this and you know you're using the word slither. Describe that, please. Uh, it was kind of like a catwalk woman, you know, doing her, her thing on okay. a catwalk and then slithering as she goes from wow. side to side. So that's the best explanation I can give you. I'm afraid it's it was so crazy that my mind, my head just stopped working and I thought, whoa, what am I experiencing right now? But up and she turned up and she's shot away. Now, when you say shot away, describe that. I mean, is she walking or does she just go zip like that? I would just say zip like that. You know, <sighs> if, if, if you've seen uh, on the, you know, in the arcade halls, like it's kind of uh, hover, air hoverboard, you know, with yeah. small parts. It was just almost like that. And she just shot away above the ground without walking. She was gone, just gone. Now, when you say gone, so she's standing in front of you about 50 feet away. Yes. Did she moved behind a shelf. Did she just disappear? How did she leave? It was uh, several meters across where I can see her. And she was standing in the middle of the opening. So it was several meters on each side. On each side, okay. It's kind of hard to describe when a person just like that is gone. She couldn't possibly have moved so quickly in just that two, one or two seconds. It's, it's impossible. So what did you do? Now she's gone. I'm assuming you're comforting your wife. Did you talk about it with her? Now we were starting looking over our shoulders, you know, because 
have anyone else seen this? Are there some people in this shop that perhaps have seen this? And because uh, we were just standing perplexed, what did we just witness? So just, you know, looking around what, what's happening. But there was none other in, in the shop right, there, uh, right then. So she was not on, in, on any part, other part of the shop, she's gone. And then I have to say to my wife, this, this is what I've talked about. This is what I've heard from uh, the Christian YouTuber that I've, uh, I've been following for so many years. She, he's warned me, I've tried to warn you before this happened, but she said, I don't, I, I wasn't prepared. And you never are. I mean, no. you know, look, I'm, I'm not, I do this all day long and I'm not prepared. I don't want to see anything. I, I, I have no desire to have an encounter with a hybrid or a UFO, none at all. But I do the research and I warn um, of what, what is here. Um, there's a book by Dr. David Jacobs, Walking Amongst Us. And he talks about, they, they are integrating and people don't believe that. They, oh, that's impossible. Your testimony, Christian, is, is vital because it shows us that this phenomenon is, is very all too real and that yes, these entities are, in my opinion, in a fixed state. The fact that she looked at you with unmitigated hatred is incredibly telling. She's from the other side, there's no doubt. 